Hello, we're trying something a little different. Um, where normally the polyphonic dot video, the polyphonic dot uh, org video blogs, we usually space them out once every two weeks. So I kind of wanted to take you on a little bit of a journey today uh, and do some entries, kind of as how varied this career can be uh, and the options are. So this morning, I was uh, I had a uh, work study job working in the dean's office at the school of music. And that's a great administrative job. You get to learn tasks, you get to learn. Probably the biggest thing I've learned is handling uh, delicate investors, or, or not necessarily investors, but um, people who want to give you a lot of money. And how to handle them, and you know, one of those things where you know, you're gonna be dealing with, a lot of times you're dealing with confidential information. So that's one uh, way that uh, a, a typical day would go for me. So now uh, I'm on to the next. You've noticed I've changed. My hair's a little more disheveled, but um, and that'll get progressively worse as the day goes on. Uh, now I am at the Crossroads Middle School. It's a magnet school located in Santa Monica, and uh, I'm going to be working with their orchestra today. And uh, it's directed by Alex Traeger, and they don't really have a lot of wins, unfortunately. Um, so I also sit in sometimes with the student orchestras and kind of help them work with them and, and get them to uh, understand the, the string section's role in relation to wind sections, um, principles, responsibilities, and so that's one of the things we're going to be doing now. Unfortunately, I can't take any video while the session is going because there are privacy laws, uh, so on and so forth, and I have to respect that, obviously. So I'm going to be working with their winds and string section. Again, this is a, a junior um, junior high school. There's also a high school compo component. And uh, it's interesting because you go from um, teaching individually is one thing, and then teaching in a group setting is a little different. Uh, classroom management becomes a big issue. And if you have never taken a classroom management uh, you need to work on that. I'd recommend some of this stuff by John Whitener. He does a lot of specialization in classroom management. He's in the process of writing, of doing a DVD um, for how to have individual instruction teachers who, you know how to work in a one-on-one -on -one setting. You have incredible levels of control that you don't have. Uh, and uh, when you're dealing with junior high schoolers, for those of you who've never worked with junior high schoolers before, that's a lot of energy. High schoolers, mainly, they, I find they have a little less energy because they're being drawn in so many more directions. But junior high schoolers, it's just that age when a lot of, there's a lot of uh, physical development going on, em emotional and mental development going on in terms of the overall process of the development as a human being. And uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. I always love working with these kids because they've got a lot of energy. And this is a magnet school. Uh, it is not a, a typical, necessarily typical public school. Um, the facilities here are excellent. The teacher to student ratio is relatively low. And you're not going to see that, unfortunately, in a, um, in a public school setting. And uh, having taught in public school, uh, sometimes it's 50 to 1. Uh, even, even more if you've got a large band. You've got one band director trying to run... Uh, you know, maybe a 200-piece marching band, which was the case with me. And uh, classroom management becomes incredibly important. And I find that getting the students to be personally responsible and getting them to be proactive about their own management is one of the biggest ways to help with uh, working with that. So I went from wearing an administrative hat this morning, and now I'm doing some playing and some administration and some teaching. Uh, and we're going to keep you going as to what's going on I'll let you know what's going on next. I've got a, a little bit of a, uh, well, I've got a lot of different things coming up, coming down the pipe today. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I've got for here from Crossroads Middle School. I'll keep you guys up to date once we hit the uh, end of this rehearsal, which will go for about an hour, uh, actually about two and a half hours, which is surprisingly, uh, I'm amazed that, that Alex Traeger is able to keep them in here for that long and keep them focused. So it's concertos, so we're focusing, or we're highlighting some of the students, uh, their own performances, Mozart, and also uh, Mozart Symphony Number no. 29, which is a fun little horn part if you guys don't know it. Anyways, take care, and uh, I'll punch it in on the other side.